The largest known insect of all time was a predator resembling a dragonfly, but was only distantly related to them. Its name is Meganeuropsis, and it ruled the skies before pterosaurs, birds, and bats had even evolved. Most popular textbooks make mention of giant dragonflies that lived during the days before the dinosaurs. This is only partly true, for real dragonflies had still not evolved back then. Rather than being true dragonflies, they were the more primitive griffinflies or meganisopterans. Their fossil record is quite short. They lasted from the late Carboniferous to the late Permian, roughly 317 to 247 million years ago. Meganisoptera is an extinct family of insects, all large and predatory, and superficially like today's odonatans, the dragonflies and damselflies. And the very largest of these was Meganeropsis. It is known from two species, with the type species being the immense Meganeropsis permiana. Meganeropsis permiana, as its name suggests, is from early Permian. Fossils of this huge insect were described by Frank Carpenter in 1939. The genus was scientifically described on the basis of a single incomplete wing fossil from Elmo, Kansas. Carpenter described a second species from Oklahoma, named Meganeropsis americana, a few years later. The wing fossil was, and still is, exhibited in the Museum of Comparative Zoology at Harvard University as part of the permanent exhibit. From these two finds, and calculations of other griffin flies, it was estimated that Meganeropsis had a body roughly 47 centimeters long, with a wingspan of 75 centimeters across. This is much wider than the South American damselfly Megalopropus, the largest odonatan living today. Meganeropsis was able to get this large, possibly due to a far higher oxygen content in the atmosphere. During the Carboniferous, there was a massive influx in global oxygen levels, and this allowed many land-living invertebrates to get to huge sizes. Insects breathe not through lungs, but through a system of spiracles and narrow tracheal tubes. This fact, plus an external exoskeleton, means that insects today have to stay small and cannot get to the same sizes of their ancient kin. The ease of breathing may have allowed for much larger dimensions among many extinct insect families. The griffin flies were just one of them. Meganeropsis and its fellow griffin flies had a number of features suggesting a highly predaceous lifestyle. Among these was a pair of toothed and powerful mandibles for tackling large, struggling prey. They also had very spiny front limbs. Griffin flies were also possibly very maneuverable in the air, just as much as their living relatives are. Fossil remains of nymphs show us that the baby griffin flies spent time in the water, just like those of modern odonatans. They too had powerful, grasping jaws to attack aquatic prey like fish, amphibian larvae, and water insects. Meganeropsis itself would have been preyed upon by its contemporary carnivores, like the reptile and amphibian predators of the day, as well as primitive sharks and lobe-finned fish. Meganeropsis died out at the end of the Permian, victim of a mass extinction that wiped out more than 90% of all life on Earth. With this extinction, the high oxygen levels were gone, and no insect would ever reach their size.